Good morning. It is January the 11th, 2018. First Thursday of the second week of 2018. We'll have a full market after Martin Luther King's holiday. I haven't checked, but I believe that's probably Monday. We'll start with our disclaimer. Hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations, and like an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under overcompensated for the impact of any of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they're designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Well, I hope everybody had a great evening. Yesterday it was 60 degrees here in Wichita, wind blowing like hell. From the south is this new uh, front when the storm came in. Right now it's 28 degrees, wind still is blowing like hell, and we've got sleet and freezing rain and a snow mixture out there. So quite a temperature swing. The uh, dogs will love it today. Uh, yesterday when they were out playing, uh, their tongues were hanging pretty low. Today that won't be the case. Um, Overnight, China denies that they're going to stop purchasing treasuries. So yesterday, the China, or a story that China was going to quit buying treasuries, took all markets lower. Uh, they subsequently recovered. Uh, today, they denied it. Who knows? Uh, one of the things that's really hard to appreciate until you've been in this game for a long time is the fact that fake news, false stories, and rumors is just a part of um, the trading game uh, and it's hard to say how rumors get started uh, but they do and they have to have some credibility and I was uh, privy to one of them back in the um, early 90s and it was called the Wichita spike in the crude oil market where uh, the trader for uh, quick trip was at home eating lunch and there was a, um, a movie on. His wife had it on a, a movie channel. And they used a CBS broadcaster. Uh, and he was sitting there eating his lunch. And this CBS broadcaster breaks into this movie to interrupt it, saying that Saudi Arabia had been attacked by missiles. The trader naturally picks up his telephones and said, I just saw the CBS on a news story that Saudi Arabia had been attacked by missiles. <laughs> That quickly goes to the floor, and it spiked um, crude oil. And then within the half hour, everything was uh, had been figured out, and prices were back where they were. So again, uh, my point is, is that we have to trade with stops. We are subject to false news stories and rumors continuously. Uh, it's part of the game. And perhaps uh, China sent us a, a not so subtle warning last night with a, a news plant, who knows. But anyway, today it's denied. So treasuries can get back to their normal trading, maybe. The natural direction of the market is lower because the Fed's raising interest rates. Okay, we have the 30-year auction. We thought that we would find sellers in the Globex session. Uh, we have. It's come late. Uh, it's hard to move this paper when the market's going straight up without a tangible hard piece of favorable news which we don't have this morning so we've got a mom a move out of the middle I had hoped to sell the uh, 31s to 03 area for sell one 7 to 11 for sell two we still might get that and on the buy side we had 21 25 for buy one and 17 to 13 for buy two uh, you can see that the mode's at 24 and a half. The 25 takes care of that. Uh, the VWAP's a possibility at 27. Uh, so support might actually be 24 to 28, opposed to my envision 20 to 24. The news today, jobless claims 245. PPI plus two tenths of a percent could be higher because the price of energy has gone up. It will be higher next month because of the price of energy. Core plus two tenths. 
and looking for a draw of 318 BCF on natural gas uh, given last week's very very cold weather. Uh, the news focus will be PPI, it's the precursor, it's where inflation starts for the Treasury markets. Bitcoin got smashed overnight. China is shutting down the exchanges, not China, Korea, and uh, going to investigate it for money laundering, tax evasion, all sorts of good things. And there's a couple of them out there where you can't be traced that will probably uh, become more popular after um, South Korea's move overnight. But the um, cryptocurrencies are off 10 to 20 percent depending on which one you're in. The overnight session gold was even with where it was yesterday so really hard to know what drives cryptocurrencies other than the fact that everybody and their mother wants in which provides the longer term support okay um, on the bond um, ah, here we are at 20 so 24 28 is number one sell 31s to 03s 7 to 11s for sell 2 early in the session later in the, the deeper we get in the session the uh, um, the less uh, uh, attractive the sell becomes because they have to take the market up to move the paper without a hard piece of news buy 1 9 to 13 buy 2 1 to 5 I think the 30-year auction will eventually uh, bring buyers into the market. So the sell uh, is pretty attractive early in the session. The deeper we get into the session, not so attractive. Okay, gold was pretty much unchanged from where, or when I looked at it, just kind of moving sideways here. Um, pretty square in the congestion area, you can trade higher, so well, we had a 115, 17, 17 buy, it still looks good. And then a 10 to 12, which we did not get to, we'll just keep the numbers there. Looks like it might try to trade up, so we'll put 23, 25 out here for sell one. 28 to 30 for sell 2. Obviously, we got to take out 21 to have a shot at selling 23s. But right now, it looks like it's trying to trade a bit higher. So we'll we'll go with that idea. Maybe a little bit higher this morning. I've seen no more on the Saudi Arabian. Um, F-15 being shot down. I just saw that one news article. I think that may be the second one they've lost to missiles. But it's the way the news is um, covered and hidden and all the rest of that is just really, really hard to know what's true and, not, and it's not true anymore. You just Everything has to be taken with a grain of salt. Well, the euro found its low in London. They retested the Frankfurt low. Tried to sell at Frankfurt time. London came in buyer. You can see this little bit of rejection down here held. And the market has exploded uh, right here. So moved up pretty fast, pretty quickly. 2075, sell one. 121 even, sell 2. I want to make it 65, 75, sell 1. On the uh, buy side, got this area right here at 32. 25, so 25 to 35, buy 1. And 
the buck by two. I get the buck to ten. Uh, there's probably a piece of news associated with that. I have not seen it. Where's Sonny when you need him, right? Sonny does a great job of tracking the news for us. And follows a few more sources than I do. Crude is up. Uh, the big rally in crude started with the, I think it was, I think it's the North 40s pipeline that brings the oil from Scotland into England for refining. And um, then the drumbeat of war got louder. And here we find ourselves at 64. So again, market has pointed up, uh, manages to rally a little bit every night. It sits. Low came in London. Not, didn't come in London. Low came in Frankfurt right here. Retested the Globex low, the Asian low. It held. Take out that. Now, here's the first move up in P. And you can see that Q comes down. So... This is the first range extension. The second range extension is the one you want. You have to get out on. Right now, just uh, P, they might be getting stops. Also, structurally, two letters wide. As long as it's uh, three letters wide or less, the market can trend. So 64, 64 and a quarter, sell one. 65 is so close have to think in terms of getting stops above 65 and there's a lot of play on that run down from 100 plus to uh, $30 uh, in that 65 67 area gosh what three years ago three and a half time flies 6350 6375 buy one 63 even 63 and a quarter by two. Got a little bit of your cold weather, Sunny, down here. High's going to be 28 to 30 today. I know. You'd change. Uh, you'd like to see that kind of those kind of temps, but. You can get those kind of temps if you move south. As many of your brethren do for three months out of the year. Those Canadians with not very much character head south, the snowbirds. I, um, Helen's sister had a, uh, condo for a long time um, down in Fort Lauderdale and uh, we were just in that particular uh, complex uh, the uh, we were surrounded by Canadians I never did get into snowboarding uh, just I figured I could do everything that you could do on a snowboard plus a lot more on skis and I didn't want to give up my limited ski days so I never did make the transition but it's got the turn everybody loves you the only kind of turn you can make is a GS turn and those are fun okay the e-mini is pointed higher my guess is we're going to retest 2760 and why do I say that uh, the e-mini and Dow and them tend to make new highs on low or no news days uh, today's PPI usually doesn't drive the uh, the market for uh, equities. Uh, jobless came, claims is forgotten. It's at 245. Nobody pays any attention to it. PPI plus two tenths prob could come in high. Core plus two tenths probably at two. BCF draw down in natural gas. They're forecasting 318. Could, could get pretty close to that. So if there is a news focus, it'll be the PPI. So uh, first sell, 59 to 61. 
Second one, 64 to 66. If we do take out 60, the um, next stop really is probably 75. Uh, tomorrow's retail sales numbers could get us there. Drudge started off today. Bezos, the richest man in the world, $106 billion. And um, the, um, so, uh, people, equities, wealth created by equities, etc., uh, is continuously in the news. We have a P here from yesterday, a P here. Uh, the market sold for one day. Uh, 20 to 25 usually contains the correction. And that's what we had yesterday. Went from 60 to 37. So that was, what, 23 uh, points and took the market up and out. So can we get through 2760 or not today? Don't know. My guess is we're going to get a test of that. Uh, 50, 52 by 1. And 46, 48 by 2. And that's it for this morning. It takes a bit for me to get everything up and around, so I'm going to get busy on that. I'll be back with you. We'll take a look at the retail sales numbers when they hit in a bit.